What's up YouTube, Kenny here, and uh, back after a pretty long break, I've had some computer issues, uh, they're still being worked out, but most of them are resolved right now, most, uh, hopefully I can get the rest of them fixed very soon, but uh, I'm in working condition now. Uh, so today we're going to be having a tutorial on the plugin called DisguiseCraft. Uh, it's on Bucket Dev, and basically what it allows you to do is uh, you can change into nearly every single mob, and you can change to other players, blocks, uh, etc. It's really cool. Uh, this was actually requested by a viewer, and so this is for him in sp uh, specifically. So just like any other plugin, you go ahead and drag and drop it into your plugins directory in your uh, server folder, and I have done that. It's inside there, and then you just go ahead and start up the server and it will start up uh, DisguiseCraft. And then we can go ahead and open up Minecraft and log on in. Just like that. And immediately you can see this message uh, from Disguise, DisguiseCraft. Uh, Disguise PvP is set to true, but uh, protocol li uh, lib is not installed. Basically, that means that if you install protocol lib, which is another plugin, uh, it's right here uh, if you install that on your server then that will enable you to be able to uh, attack other players that are disguised uh, and it's giving me this message because it's set to true and protocol lib is not installed as it says uh, other than that uh, we'll just ignore that for now uh, it's really simple you just download it and add it to your plugins directory now the uh, the main command for disguisecraft is slash d and that'll bring up its little help menu and we can disguise as any kind of mob, as I uh, previously said. So we can do slash D and disguise as a bat. And now we are a bat. Unfortunately, I won't be able to let you guys be able to see what it looks like as I don't have another player to this that's recording their screen. Might be useful to have a Skype call in the future and show you. I don't know. Uh, but I can't show you what it is. Uh, just, you just have to trust me. It's sending to other players. And it's never going to be where you can actually see it uh, from a different viewpoint, unfortunately. Uh, and then you can disguise as a player by doing slash D space P and then the player name. So uh, if we want to disguise as Notch, there we go. Uh, you can't really see it again, as I said previously. Uh, and we can, there's all those kinds of mobs. Uh, to undisguise yourself, you do slash U. And now you are undisguised. Uh, two, there's a few different settings, like you can do slash D send, and you can send your disguise to another player. And if you want to send it to everyone, you can do slash D send and a star. And of course, I'm not wearing a disguise, so if I disguise as a bat and then redo that command. Now it sent all those, that disguise to all the players on the server, which is currently no one. But it, uh, sent it, to, it sent quotes around sent. Uh, to everyone you can disguise as a block by typing slash d and the block name so now i'm disguised as a grass you can also do slash d and the block id so one first stone uh you can also there's a few different settings you can do so slash d uh np to disable item pickup you can do slash d bl to uh lock your disguise to the center of the block that you're in and you can do slash d bl which makes your armor not show when you're wearing a disguise. And you can redo the command to set it as enabled. So the config file for DisguiseCraft is a little bit different than what you might uh, be used to. Uh, it's a little bit of a different file, but we can still edit it with Notepad++ as we usually do, or whatever text editor you prefer. So if we just right click and edit with Notepad++ for ease. There we go, go and expand that. And we've got um, just your basic settings as usual. Uh, I'm not really going to explain all of them as they are pretty self-explanatory and the developer did leave quite a few comments on each setting. Uh, for example, like this is the protocol lib that I was talking about earlier. And if you want to just stop seeing that message, you can just set this to false there. Uh, but as I said, these are all pretty self-explanatory. So other than that, that pretty much wraps up this whole video, guys. Uh, Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other video recommendations or plugins that you want me to make for you guys, like to for me to show you how to make for the plugin development series, go ahead and leave it in the comments. If you have any other ideas, leave it in the comments also, or send me an email. And that's about it, guys. My name is Kenny, and I'll see you guys next time.